I am going back to the topic I have already covered before. I made a video showing how to control 8x8 dot matrices using MAX7219 modules. I explain in it how you can create custom 8x8 pixel art and display it on the matrix. I also showed how you can turn sample text to the pixel art and scroll it on the matrix. MAX7219 modules give you opportunity to daisy chain those 8x8 matrices, but I did not show this in that video. So I will cover it in this one, but not just that. I will show you the tools that simplify the process of displaying text and adding all sorts of animations to it. The tools are introduced with Parola library. If you have never used it before and it's something new to you, stick around. In this video we will not work with standalone MAX7219 module, but with this one that has four matrices joined together. Each matrix has its dedicated MAX7219 module. We need just three Arduino pins to control all of them, just like we did in the case of the standalone module. So let's quickly recap how I was displaying custom pixel art on the single 8x8 matrix. I was using LED control library. After defining the pins that will be used to connect the module to Arduino, I was declaring this module in the code. Then I have a table consisting of 8 bytes that represent pixel art depicting an apple. In setup, I was turning matrix on, setting its brightness and clearing it. In loop function, I had a single for loop which was going through all bytes from apple table and using set row command to lit appropriate LEDs in the currently processed row of the pixel art. If I confuse you at this stage, please watch the original video and I will definitely clear this up. The set row command, just like any other command that came with LED control library, has its first parameter equal to zero. That means that we are affecting the first matrix in the chain. If we wanted uh, to display something on the second matrix in the chain, then we would need to set this parameter to 1. To display something on a third matrix, we would have to set it to 2 and so on. So how would the code change if we wanted to display the apple on the first matrix, then on a second, third and fourth, and then start all over again? We declare MAX7219 module the same way, with just one difference. In the declaration, we indicate that we will use four matrices instead of one. In setup, we have a for loop that powers on, sets brightness and clears all four matrices. We have a variable that indicates which matrix is currently active. Starting with matrix number one. In loop function, we have exactly the same for loop which display an apple using set row command, but this time the first parameter is not zero, but it's equal to active display variable. After displaying the apple, we wait for three seconds, then we clear the matrix and change the active matrix to the next one in the chain. When we reach the end of the chain, we set the active display variable to zero again. Here is the result. Next, we were also scrolling the text. I had a sample text which I transferred into the pixel art which was represented by this table of bytes. The declaration and setup function look identical to the code in which we were displaying the Apple bitmaps. In loop we have two for loops to go through the table to lit relevant pixels. Initially for the single matrix only. Then we can add another matrices as well. To achieve the final effect I had to offset the other three matrices. All in all that worked, but it is not efficient at all. If I wanted to change the text I would have to create the whole new table of bytes which would take forever. To simplify outputting text and bitmaps to matrices controlled by MAX7219 modules, you need to install two libraries, md-parola 
an MD Max 72XX library. So first download the corresponding zip files from GitHub. And then install those two libraries in Arduino IDE. First library is installed. We have to repeat the same actions for the other one. Now that we have everything connected and Parola libraries loaded, we can open a sample program, Parola Print Test. This should display a combination of texts and digits. Having this example, let's look at the way we need to initialize MAX7219 modules with the use of Parola functionality. So we need to declare the two libraries we have just installed and also we need to declare standard SPI library. Before we declare chain connected MAX7219 modules, we need to define few parameters first, like hardware type. Parola HW is the default value for this parameter. Max devices indicate how many Max 7219 modules we have in a stack. In our case, this would be four. And finally, we declare three Arduino pins the modules are connected to. Clock pin, data in pin, and chip select. With all those parameters defined, we can now declare the Parola object that corresponds to chain connected Max 7219 modules. In setup, we need to initialize that object and in loop we can start sending content using print function. So in this example we would send a sample text, number in decimal format, then in hex format, individual characters, etc. Let's compile this program and load it to Arduino. And that does not look like it's working. After investigating for a bit, I realized that there are four hardware types for Max 7219. Here they are. As you can see by default, we have Parola HW chosen. Let's try generic type next. The result is different, but it still does not work. Next is IC station. Nope, does not work either. I was losing hope at this point. My last chance was to try FX16. And what do you know, it worked. That's great, we have a working example code. Parola library helps you not only to display texts, uh, but provides a number of predefined animation for text and bitmaps. Let's quickly go through all available ones, starting with basic print, then scrolling up, scrolling down, scrolling left, scrolling right, sprite animation, Pac-Man, that's nice. Slice, this one looks cool. Mesh. Fade in, fade out. Dissolve. Blinds. Random. Two types of wipe animation. Two types of horizontal scan and then two types of vertical scan, two types of open animation, two types of close animation and then scrolling up left, scrolling up right, down left, down right and finally grow up and grow down. This is quite an animation catalog, wouldn't you say? How can we use those animations? After declaring the modules of four connected matrices and initializing it, we can use display text command to animate text. Here is the syntax of that command. First parameter is a null terminated text that we want to display slash animate. Next is that text alignment, so position to which it arrives with the chosen animation. 
In this case, it will be justified to the right. Other options are to justify to the left or center. Then we have animation speed. Then you have pause in between arrive and depart animation. And finally, you have the arrive and depart animation types selected from the catalog that we have just been going through. So let's write the code that would output animation sequence that I would use when wrapping up this video. We declare libraries first, then define hardware type, how many matrices do we have connected together, and pins with which they are connected to Arduino. And finally, having all that data defined, we declare the module. To build a complex animation comprising of different texts displayed with different effects, I created a structure that would allow us to store all vital information for composite animations. Within it, we have type of animation with which the text arrives, animation with which the text departs, the actual text that we want to animate, the speed of the animation, the pause in between arrive and depart animations, and finally the text alignment. Then, using this structure, we build a table. This table would be like a script of the movie. Each row would represent composite animation. So we start with scrolling text. Thanks for watching. There is no pause in between arrive and depart animations. Arrive and depart animations are the same. Then we use PA slice animation to bring text like to the center of the display. And after two seconds, make it disappear with grow down animation. Then with PA random, we introduce text share only to grow it down after two seconds as well. Then we again scroll left to the text subscribe in and out without any pause. Then we use PA blinds to show text patron and grow down it after one two seconds. In the next three steps, we use combination of scrolling effects to display message, see you soon. In setup function, we initialize the matrix module and then update the animation table. For speed and pause, we only provided multipliers in the table. So now we use default speed value of the library to calculate the actual speed and also use 500 milliseconds default pause to calculate the actual pause and update the table with those values. And now off to the loop function. We declare i variable, which will be the index of the current animation. We check if there is no animation in progress. If animation is finished, we check if the last animation we run was not the last animation on the list. In this case, we would change the i variable to zero, so the whole sequence of animations starts all over again. Then with current animation index, we pull all the relevant information from the animation table and run display text command to run that animation. Then we delay the code for half a second and then increase the animation index. So with the next execution of a loop function, we would start next animation. Let's wrap up this video. I have my custom animation ready. So, thank you very much guys for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like this video, also share it among your friends that might enjoy it as well and if you like to see similar content in the future, subscribe to my channel. You may also consider becoming my patron. As always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.